what we have here is a very strong build solid bitch uh, as it is very difficult to, uh, to get in this breed she is uh, uh, very well constructed from uh, top to the end and uh, it all fits very well together she's also in a gloomy condition, condition perfect quality of muscle so the, the overall picture is uh, very impressive indeed head wise she shows a, a classic dog the Bordeaux head without being overdone in any way um, I like her stop very much and her quality of eyebrows um, nice expression of eye and not to forget a uh, beautiful color it's difficult to get the real rich colors in, uh, in red masked uh, dogs but she is a good example of that it is possible she has a strong uh, muzzle, uh, large nostrils and her, uh, her nose just uh, is lifting slightly which is highly typical for the breed uh, and she shows uh, a definite chin to be hypocritical I would uh, suggest uh, I would like to see her even uh, that she shows even more chin and she could do with a bit more wrinkles a bit more furnishing but in, in head wise quality wise it's a decent feminine strong head um, the front is uh, extremely s solid it's uh, not much wrong uh, with that uh, quite broad quite deep set lovely quality of neck uh, the bone uh, goes uh, well together with this uh, size uh, again to be hypocritical she could do with a bit more perhaps um, but what I like uh, extremely much in this bitch is uh, her ribs and uh, the, the quality of uh, back and loins and uh, if you would look her from the, uh, the other side if just to turn her around you can see her hindquarters that's a quality one uh, seldom seen in, seen in Jacques de Bordeaux a nice tail set but far more important broad, deep, co an, uh, excellent quality of muscle from uh, the top uh, to the end so this bitch uh, I'm sure she will move uh, perfectly um, so sound and strong again as one seldom sees in this breed that was also the reason why she won uh, yesterday in the end there were probably bitches there which were more more impressive in head and more impressive in bone but uh, there were no bitches whatsoever with this overall quality of uh, body construction and movement can we have her move? yes straight out and straight back Donna let's go My standard is not much wrong in, uh, in terms of movement. Perhaps you just could give her a round. Is that possible to, uh, to view? Yes. <coughs> that they will see how easy she will go. And she is uh, really a big, strong, heavy bitch. And it's all so well put together that you can't go wrong with it. Let's go. And now you also can see that uh, when she's moving, she shows much more uh, angulation than knee and hock. Uh, comparison to, uh, to when standing, so this is the kind of breed you really should judge uh, when moving how, uh, how well they are angulated. When standing they should not be as much angulated as in, in many other breeds. So to, to, to put it in, 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 uh, in a few words, what is a dog de Bordeaux type wise, I always say go on, start with a bull mastiff and uh, put on some extra uh, source of the bulldog and th then you will get uh, the dog de Bordeaux um, so it's very difficult uh, or very important not to go for uh, a clean cut bull mastiff he like dog because then you will end up with no breed whatsoever uh, another important thing is don't go for the bigger the better the best dog de Bordeaux are the smaller ones and they impress as if they are very big dogs so um, I, will, I will keep on going with the comparisons making to the bull mastiff because that's the, the easiest to understand. Um, a, do, um, a bull mastiff should not be low on the leg. A dog de Bordeaux should be low on the leg. So it should be lower on the leg than a bull mastiff or a mastiff or even a new, uh, new pallet mastiff. Uh, another important thing is the head should look a very big comparison compared to his body. So almost out of proportion. In that respect, that's what I mean with the, the Bulldog influence. Um, Head-wise, there are some uh, details which, which differ the Dog de 
bordeaux from the bull mastiff a nice a good dog the bordeaux has a deeper stock has more quality of eyebrow more defined eyebrows and has definitely more wrinkles wrinkles should be there all the time not only there when showing attention all the time the dog the bordeaux should have a real strong chin mark with an, uh, a u-shaped form so it really should be on the shot if the dog the bordeaux has hardly any on the shot or even level no good, no chance. Um, and an, another important detail, talking about the muzzle, the, the, the nose should be slightly lift, lifted, not as much as in the bulldog, but uh, certainly more than in the bull mastiff. Perhaps you could also say, well, look at the lift of the nose in a boxer. Quite simple. Um, front, very important. It should be broad. In a bull mastiff, one should talk about. Uh, if if a, um, a bull mastiff should have a dog the bordeaux front, one would say this is too loaded, too broad, too low set. Which means that you really want to have a cle rather clean cut shoulders for sure, but the upper arm should really be broad with plenty of, of muscles, uh, which follow plenty of rib cage, as much that uh, the front legs it's quite difficult to get them really straight. So the standard allows to get the front legs slightly outwards. It's very important. That will give the typical front in a dog de Bordeaux. So don't punish a dog de Bordeaux when the feet are going slightly out. It's in the same way as, as with Bulldogs. Of course not too much. Queen Anne is very wrong. The police allows a bit of uh, uh, freedom there. Um, what is uh, as important as the top line, you want to have that in a decent uh, st straight top line as in many other breeds, but the other, on the other line, so the line which goes from brisket to loins, uh, to, um, is it called loins? Yes. Um, uh, tummy, that's, that's another very uh, important uh, characteristic. So the, in a full grown uh, dog de Bordeaux, you want to have the, the underline of the brisket down the elbow. And it should go in a slight curve down to the, the tummy uh, with a, a quite a tuck up. Of course, not as in a side hind, but quite a tuck up as in bulldogs. Hindquarters, very difficult to get uh, right and proper, certainly in a typical dog de Bordeaux. Um, but what is very important, not so much the angulation. Again, uh, we only uh, we really can see what a dog is, is able to do with his angulation when he's moving, but you certainly want to have quality of muscle. And it's a, a main characteristic of the breed that not only the first tie is, is very strongly developed, but also certainly the second uh, tie, which also is, there is again a bit of the, the, the bulldog influence and which makes it quite different to, to the bull mastiff, which is cleaner cut overall. Um, to talk about cleaner cut and the difference between bull mastiff and uh, dog de Bordeaux, now you get in the, the, the bulldog again. If you look from on, the, on top of a dog de Bordeaux from behind, you will see all different parts. In a bull mastiff, you go from one neck, clean cut shoulders, ribs, clean cut loins to hindquarters, more or less one line with plenty of substance for sure, clean cut muscles, which gives one uh, kind of picture. In dog de Bordeaux, you want to have neck. Uh, different from front, different from ribs, slightly uh, less developed uh, uh, loin party and almost the same breath you would like to see for uh, the high quarters. So it really are different parts and, and in that respect very different from what you look for in a bull uh, Movement. Um, a good dog de Bordeaux will move differently to a bull mastiff. Uh, a bull mastiff is more the easy going athletic dog uh, because of his uh, he's cleaner cut. He doesn't have that low set of body, not that broad of body in, in the good examples. So it's, it's, you cannot expect uh, a dog de Bordeaux to move as light footed as, as a bull mastiff does. So we go for, uh, of course, we go for an effortless movement, but uh, it should show a lot of strength. And a good one uh, really impresses uh, that he is so able to, to move easily with a long stride because he has all that substance to carry with, with him. So it, it's difficult to put in words, but he should have a more definite uh, gait, uh, more that he's really working as a draft horse, perhaps that's what I would say. Would say. Working as a draft horse, that's what makes a, a, a dog the model. That's about it.